Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on completing the square. This is the last video on the topic, so if you've not watched the first two, I recommend you watch those first. Here we're looking at an example where a is greater than 1. So a is the coefficient of x squared in the general form, ax squared plus bx plus c. Uh, so this is one of the hardest types of questions you'll see in the whole of the course. And here we're writing 3x squared plus 5x minus 3 in the form a loss of x plus d, all squared plus e. So I'm going to rewrite the expression first of all, 3x squared plus 5x minus 3. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to factorise uh, this first part of the expression. So we're going to end up with 3 lots of x squared plus 5 over 3x. And then we're just going to leave that there and put the minus 3 on the outside of the brackets. The next thing we have to do is set up our double bracket. In other words, uh, this squared part here. Uh, so let's just rub that out. What we're going to have here is we're still going to have the 3, uh, but this time we're going to have x plus 5 over 6 all squared. Now the reason it's 5 over 6 is because we have to half this value uh, or this coefficient of x here, and when we half 5 over 3 we get 5 over 6. So we're going to end up with 3 lots of x plus 5 over 6 squared plus e. So we need to work out what the value of e is now. So our value for e, if we use the formula, is equal to c minus a d squared. This was in the first video, uh, but what essentially this is, is it's the constant on the end of the quadratic, c, which in our case is minus 3, minus uh, the non-x result from expanding this set of brackets. So a d squared is going to be equal to 3, which is a, uh, times d squared, which is 5 over 6 squared. So we can do that expansion if we want, just for that one term. So 3 times 5 over 6 times 5 over 6. So this is going to be equal to 3 times 25 over 36, which simplifies to 25 over 12. So therefore our value of e is going to be equal to minus 3 minus 25 over 12. So we're almost there. Uh, let's just rub out these workings here, seeing so we don't need them anymore. Uh, but we need to write this expression for e as one number. So at the moment we have e is equal to minus 3 minus 25 over 12. We can rewrite this as minus 36 over 12 minus 25 over 12. So minus 36 over 12 is going to give us minus 3. And then we're subtracting the uh, 25 over 12. This is going to be equal to minus 61 over 12. So that's our value for e. So now we can finally rewrite the expression as 3 lots of x plus 5 over 6 all squared. Uh, minus, excuse me, that should be 61 divided by 12. So this is now in the form a uh, lots of x plus d all squared plus e. Completing the square is one of the hardest topics in GCSE maths, so it's important that you get some practice in before the actual exam. You can do so with our online exam here. It's available through our revision platform, and if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which you'll receive instant feedback on. So it's a good way of keeping track of your progress and finding out where you're going wrong, so you can improve for your actual exam. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and it will take you straight over there.